So we invested in wind, we invested in solar, we invested in biomass. We're all about increasing energy efficiency and finding new, renewable, clean sources of energy. I'm here representing the Vortex-based mathematics project, which was founded by my teacher, Marco Rodin. Nearly 40 years ago, Marco discovered an unknown mathematical language inherent to nature. I've designed and designed not only my own tools, but tools that are based on perfection and the axioms, the universal truths of the universe. You know, essentially, I, I claim to have discovered perfection. And now i found the key of how to model it in three-dimensional space. The importance of this discovery cannot be underestimated. With it, I believe we can create inexhaustible clean energy, produce unlimited food, end all diseases, travel anywhere in the universe, build the ultimate supercomputer, and obsolete all existing technology. How is it possible that we make such outrageous claims? It's because we have the secret that connects all the world's technologies into one. Numbers. A living language. A jigsaw puzzle that, when pieced together, no longer forms an approximation or a rendition of reality. Numbers are reality, neither imaginary, nor irrational, nor arbitrary. Numbers are actually a waveform that folds out into a 3D shape, defining space and time literally. The shape of a torus, nature's original donut, many believe may hold the key to creating a clean and sustainable environment for future generations and we're lighting 21 of them. And this is just to give you a sense of how bright it is. This is the only light in the room right now. The problem is not the lack of a collective desire for a positive future, but the lack of a collective vehicle for positive actions. Humanity doesn't have to have a dark future, and it's not going anywhere that we don't steer it. We have a technology in our hands that can boom the market of alternative energy, solar cells, and electric vehicles and change our world forever. We have already achieved the impossible, but now we need your help to make the impossible an everyday experience. We don't yet have the technological breakthroughs that can completely replace fossil fuels. Unless somebody here invents something tomorrow, which would be very helpful, and if you have it, let me know. With all due respect, Mr. President, this is me letting you know. <laughs>